Well, it's the Bedini battery charger, and I just took a plate, a regular dinner plate, and uh, because I'm going to try to look experiment here. Um, first, these batteries aren't like totally toast yet, but uh, they're not supposed to be charged up. <laughs> but we gotta find out. Let's see what they'll do. First, we're going to see what this standing voltage is. I can get this thing on here and hold the camera. I should use a tripod like an idiot, but I don't. Da -da -da -da. There it is. 11.4 volts. That's that one. And the other one's at 5.8. So let me, uh, I'm going to try to get them up to a resting voltage of like 12 and a half after it sits there a couple days. And uh, the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to put this thing on charge cycle number one. And that's the lowest one. I'm not going to, you know, I could probably take a lot more than that, but I'm not, since it's a non rechargeable battery, you're not supposed to do this. And bedini charger people tell you not to do this, but I think it'll work. So the red light's on. You know, normally with a rechargeable battery, this will go to a green light when it's done. It can't take any more charge, but I'm not going to do that with this. And like I said, I'm airing on the, I got this all the way down to number one. So, probably get a couple hours at a time. Check the voltage, do it like that. See what happens. I got it on a plate in case uh, the acid gets all over the place or something. I don't think it will though. Uh, it'll probably take me a couple days or something to get these up to snuff. But I think I'm going to bring them back to better than brand new. And you're not supposed to be able to do this. But if you're careful, you just do it at you know in pieces. You don't overheat them. Put it down real low, real low setting. I bet you it'll work. Well, looks like uh, green light came on. It's not supposed to be. You're not supposed to be able to charge these up, but maybe you could. I don't know. Maybe it's just like a plain old lead acid battery, you know? It's not really like a... So, that's interesting. That's interesting. I had it on setting too. <laughs> so, probably totally restored it. Let's see what kind of resting voltage this has. And it's been sitting several hours now like that. Well, I don't think that took it all the way back to capacity because I don't know what they're supposed to... I don't know what a lantern battery is supposed to freaking show up as, 12.6, you know, but it's, it probably got it back to at least 50% capacity, so what the hell, it was totally dead. Not bad, man, not bad. So, you can do things with this thing you're not supposed to. That's cool, that's cool. Actually, wait a minute, you know what? Yeah, I don't know if I'm making a really good contact here. It's all over the place. Yeah, it's probably yeah, it's about right. There it is. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all, man. Pretty happy with that. Saves you a few bucks, right? What the hell? Why throw it away? Works, right? Yeah, and just a little bit on the old school battery tech. You know, I um, this is a f special flashlight that just goes over that. You screw it in there. This takes a 6 volt battery, but you know, they got it set up, you probably don't even notice because this is so old school shit, um, that these posts are actually closer together on a 6 volt battery than they are on a 12 volt battery, so you can get them, this is designed for 6 volt, it should go right in here somehow, like that, and you screw them in, it won't fit with the 12 volt, they deliberately do that. You probably people don't probably remember that because this stuff is like from like 50 years ago at least and uh, actually I set it up so you could use this one this battery in it too um, I punched a little hole right here in, a, in this right here so you know you can actually stick this battery in it too just in case I don't have this these on hand the 6 volt 
Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this up right now on a Bedini charger. Now that I realize this damn thing works, and I'll just put it on setting one, and I'll recharge this one. You're not supposed to be able to do this. And I'll let me say this. I can't recommend to do this, but I'm doing it. How's that? That's pretty freaking neat. I'm thinking, why should I freaking buy it? Because I, they got these as rechargeable, but they don't have these as rechargeable. And now I'm thinking, this is a pretty good damn thing to have even in a car, too, because if you want to run a 12-volt accessory uh, without actually running down your battery or anything, you know, if you want to carry it with you, a little portable power right there, man. Especially if you can recharge it, you're not supposed to be able to, but what the hell.